Thank you very much for this interview for Enlace Judío. And uh, my first question is, what is the purpose of your visit to Mexico? Um, I'm a choreographer and I came here to present my work in the first international contemporary dance festival in Mexico. The do performance you, is on Friday. And do you know where is it, it is going to be? Um, it's a it's a beautiful theater, but I don't remember the name. But uh, yes, apparently it's beautiful. Where were you born? I was born in England, in the north of England, in a place called Newcastle, which is uh, near Scotland. Um, and I grew up there, and then I studied in London for four years, and then I moved to Israel. Why did you move to Israel? Um, I think I always felt very connected to Israel. I was the only. Jewish girl in my class in high school and my family we went to visit there all the time and something about it felt like home so I wanted to check out what it was like to live and work there um, yeah and then I liked it and stayed and uh, how many people are going to perform with you so I don't perform I'm the choreographer okay. and I have two dancers who are coming a male dancer Sneer his name is um, Israeli and a female dancer, her name is Ori. She's originally from Canada, but she also made Aliyah. So two dancers on stage. Um, at the beginning we were hoping to bring a bigger project, but uh, because it's so far away and expensive, but uh, we show a new piece, it's called Black Dog. And um, actually this will be the uh, world premiere. We sort of showed it in uh, Israel in a small format, but now we have the premiere here in Mexico, which is very exciting. I understand you have your base in Israel. Mm -hmm. It's because you live here or you find the, the dancers and the dancing big in Israel? Both. When I moved there, I knew nothing about the dance scene and I was really impressed. There's so much going on, so much talent. There's beautiful dancers to work with. I find interesting composers to collaborate with. Um, and I think there's so much going on that if you're part of it, you, you get inspired by it and you get pushed by it. It's very competitive, so you have to, you know, bring, always think about what you want to do and how to make it. There's something very exciting about the dance world. And on a personal level, I like living in Israel. I love Tel Aviv. I like the lifestyle, um, I go around in my bicycle all day. There's something about it that I like, so it works for me, both on a personal level and a professional level. Did you start dancing and then uh, you changed to choreography? This is a great question. Um, actually, I have to say from a very young age, I wanted to be a choreographer. So I, you know, danced at school and uh, I liked it, but it was when I first started creating work that this is what my real passion was. And um, I never really wanted to be on the stage. I think it's like being a film director, that I like to be outside and I pick the idea and I pick interesting performers and together we create something and I don't need to be in the spotlight. I like it that it's somebody else. So uh, I wanted to do it for a long time, but always as a choreographer. When did you start uh, being a choreographer? Um, I've been, I did a master's in choreography. I graduated in 2001. So for almost uh, 15 years, I've been creating work. So slowly, a big, a small project, then a bigger project until it grows. And now this is what I do all the time. For example, um, this week I'm in Mexico and then next week I go to Oslo for a month. I've been invited to create a new work on a company based there and then I'll go back to Tel Aviv in September to create a work with my dancers. So I really, there's lots of exciting projects going on. Uh, can you tell me which uh, dancers have you been doing choreography for their work? Um, yes, yeah, so the way it works is I have dancers who I pick for my projects and then other choreographers invite me to make work. So I made a work for Ido more. He's a very famous dancer. I think he came to perform last year in Mexico. So he invited me, after many years of doing his own work, he invited a young choreographer to make a piece for him. Um, so he asked me, I was very honored. And in the end, we traveled the world with this piece. We spent two months in Brazil. So it was a great success. Um, last year also, I was asked to make a work on a Colvin dance company, another dance company in Israel. So it's really exciting to get to work on these projects for other people. 
Um, and then I have projects that I pick the idea and then I look for dancers that fit my idea. So I do both these ways. Uh, what is the meaning of your work, mm -hmm. the one that you are going to perform, that the name is the dog and what did you tell Black me? dog. Black dog. Okay, so black dog um, in England, it's an expression that they use to talk about uh, depression. They say Winston Churchill, he had a black dog. Sometimes it was like a little puppy that he was in control of and sometimes it was scary. So I was very interested I've uh, been reading lots of articles about the way people, you know, problems that people have with their mind, not that I have, but how it's, uh, people are very scared to talk about it. There's a social, you know, not very acceptant. So I looked at that and I looked at how it fits in my life, that sometimes there's periods of time where you, everyone has to ask, are you okay, are you okay? And you say yes, but we all have periods where we don't necessarily agree with that. So we looked at this uh, idea, um, black dog, the, your fears, the, the dog is like the monster inside you that sometimes takes over. So the two dancers, this is what they look at, this relationship together between a, um, feeling insecure, feeling afraid. Yeah. Uh, which dance company have director as a choreographer? Or only you, or you only direct your own company? Yeah, I, I direct my own company. Um, I have some dancers who've worked with me for over 10 years. Um, the company's called Rachel Edos and Dancers. The dancers have a huge part in this. They're very collaborative. I don't come and teach the steps. We really explore it together. Um, for example, the two dancers that I've with me uh, in Mexico, um, Ori, the female dancer, we've been working together since 2008. And Sneer, we've been working together four years, I think. So it's nice to have dancers that work with you for a long time. So I'm the director of this company. Um, and then I get invited to do guest projects for other companies. So you go create. So last year, for example, I went to Johannesburg um, and created a work. I was uh, funded by the Israeli Embassy to create a work on a very old company there called Moving Into Dance. So we, perf we created a work on this company and now they perform it. They've had performances last week in, a, in South Africa. So I leave the work there and they carry on performing with the work. I know you have received some prizes. Yes. Can you tell me which ones? Um, yeah, um, I have to say it's uh, always nice to receive a prize because it means that uh, you know we work in a very um, field that's, you know, it's hard to get a acceptance and the first prize I won was in 2008 I won a prize in an international choreography competition in um, Denmark and then in 2009 I won a prize in Washington DC where I got to perform uh, the dancers of this company perform my work in the Kennedy Center which was a real honor most recently I won uh, last year the artist of the year award the choreographer of the year independent choreographer of the year award from Israel which is amazing because um, when you move there, you want to become part of the dance scene. So it's amazing to like win an award to say, okay, you, you came and you, we appreciate the art that you make. Um, and I think in 2011, I won uh, the prize for, from the Ministry of Absorption. So for people who make Aliyah as artist, a recognized artist of uh, one of the highest standards.